Look at your hair, Binta. It's so curly. How cute. Oh, let me see the front. <laughs> so we just love to dress her up. She's our Kim K. She's our Kim Kardashian. Hi guys, welcome back to Texas Unicorns where you can dream big and do the impossible. Today, we are gonna show you the progress that Rico Suave, our miniature donkey, has come so far since being with us. As you can see, Alyssa is able to brush him now and tie up his mane. They also are able to put a halter on him. This is fantastic. We are so excited that he is really coming along with his donkey training and conditioning. This was a donkey that was super scared, not tame at all, very wild. We had him castrated. I will post the link below for that video. It was very, very scary. He almost died from bleeding to death. And we are so thankful that he made it through. He's a really strong boy and he fought to the very end to survive. And I've been working with his face. I see. I like it. He's definitely part of the Texas Unicorn Clan because he does not give up. And we're so happy that you are still with us, Rico. Happy and healthy. So how we tamed our donkey was giving him time. Once he was castrated, that really reduced his hormones so he wasn't so aggressive and obviously he did not want to try to breed on our mare or become aggressive with us because the hormones dropped. It truly is a beneficial procedure to do for your horses and donkeys to get a male castrated because they become really good pets if you work with them after the surgery. Next up, we're gonna be getting his hooves done here next month. It's gonna be the first time that they have been done since we have had him. We don't know how he's going to react, but hopefully all will go very smooth when getting his hooves trimmed. They need training on both sides of their brain. Um, so when you're doing desensitizing on one side, you wanna do it on the other side too, because they could be totally fresh and spooky on the other side if you just train one side. Right. Yeah, you always want to train both sides for your equine, not just one. We just started with gentle movements. Once he was comfortable with his stall and our new home, and day by day, persistence and patience, look at this. This is just amazing. So when training them to wear a halter, how did you do this, Alyssa? Um, at first, I just kind of had it where he could see it and get used to the color and okay. the sound a little bit. So hanging it on the stall? Yeah, and then I just like kind of laid it on him. I don't know. Just so he could like... Poopy time. <laughs> Are you pooping? And then... Um, once he was getting better with me touching up here on both sides, where I had my arm on this side, um, I put this like that, and then I hung it right here. And then I squeezed it up a little. I'm gonna put that in there so I have it. And then I slipped this over his nose. And always watching for body language, for any signs that he's not happy, gonna be angry, show his butt at us, and possibly kick. Mm -hmm. 
Good boy, Rico. And it is a little big. This halter was already here in the barn. This is a new house that we bought in December of 2019. So we wanted to just use this on him before we go out and get him a nice fancy one. Comment below what color Rico should have for a halter. Should he get blue? green Ooh, orange. orange purple probably not black but comment below if you think black would be good he's rico suave such a good boy rico and then when you back up you're releasing pressure of me being over there for him doing a good job I want to remind you also in this video that training a donkey, whether it's a regular sized donkey or a miniature donkey, is much different than training equine horses. They react different, their behavior is different, their herd behavior out in the wild is different, so you cannot treat both of them the same when training. They're not a dominance animal like a horse would be, that only pushes your donkey away and regresses in training. So our next step is going to be getting him to walk out of the stall with his halter on, on a rope lead. What happens right now, Alyssa, when you do that? Does he dart out the door? Yeah. So he just runs out. He would be way too powerful for us to be hanging onto the lead rope. So since he's been wearing the halter and just getting comfortable with that. Our next step would be to teach him pressure and release, um, which is basically like little interactions, like where he, I apply a little pressure um, and he takes a step after a while of not giving up, um, that would, and then I would release it and he would overall become used he, to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but also with donkeys, it's not about how hard you pull. If you, the harder you pull when training with that, the more they'll want to like freak out and resist it. So it's just about. It's definitely donkeys are all, they're very emotional. They are all about trust. Curiosity really helps out. But overall, you really have to do your research when trying to train a donkey because it's not always what people think. And for the record, they are not stubborn. Meanwhile, <laughs> Binta, are you getting your hair done? Oh, the curls are leaving. They're nice and straight now. Come on, tater chip. <laughs> Homestead farm life, it is absolutely divine. I think you deserve a treat. He wants to take the treat from our hands so badly, but he just isn't quite there. Good boy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit on how to train your donkey. Don't forget to subscribe.